they have been sent this case to coach and uh, the dentist is wondering how I would set this case up. So let me show you pre-treatment at zero, okay? So this is the case and uh, we've got moderate crowding. We've even got a supra erupted 2.8 and uh, you can see that low and size are quite blocked out here. The other thing is the patient is an adult with some recession and also some bimax protrusion, okay? And lips are pretty protrusive. We have that typical um, Asian ethnicity, um, some moderate crowding with some bimax protrusion, some recession you can kind of already see here on the incisors. So we know that some cases like this, you don't want any labial movement, really you've got to restrict the labial movement. So this was the original clean check. Now I don't know what the dentist had kind of told, but let's run the movie. I don't know what instructions were given, but they did try to limit the expansion but there's asymmetric IPR that may make uh, perfect sense because there is mostly crowding here so it's asymmetric IPR but I think the IPR is so small that I don't know how they even fit the teeth here so anyways this is the changes to my case design right so I've got this is my design I think a lot of the teeth were moving so if we look at your one two one three your two 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 three look at the amount of rotations on them then uh, your uh, four two which is your lower right incisor lateral incisor they're all moving incredible amounts and i really think this is a case of bimax protrusion where i want to create some sort of even an overjet and an overbite so i've actually got a lot more ipr than before what I've also done is limited expansion, but at the same time, limited posterior movement. So the grayed out teeth, I asked um, Spark not to move. Now, typically, I usually, I actually do move all my sevens in an adult, but in this particular case, I actually want to hold them. Uh, the lady does have existing recession, and I just want to not expand her too much so if you have a look most of the expansion is mostly in that premolar region and um, you know and also if we have a look at the lower arch here the horseshoe shape let's see how much the lower incisors are coming forward they're not really coming forward that much okay they're actually going almost back a bit because of the IPR so in my opinion the IPR should be more distributed across your anterior teeth it's easier to IPR um, anterior, anterior teeth over posterior and um, also you know you're spreading it across a few teeth it makes sense the patient has bimax protrusion patient has gingival recession across anterior teeth although it's mild and most of the crowding is anterior so if you're going to do really minor asymmetric IPR that's not going to work for this patient so there's a lot of movement and you can see the amount of attachments I put. I also change all the beveled attachments to my horizontal or vertical conventionals. It's something I recommend. In fact, studies show the bigger um, the bar, the more the moment of the force. So I prefer to use my larger conventional attachments over the tiny beveled ones and optimized ones that I personally think don't work. Um, and I've done several cases where I go, I don't really like them uh, enough to change them to my conventional vertical and horizontals. Okay, hope you learned something, guys. Thanks. Bye. And lastly, guys, the 20 aligners is way, way under for this type of treatment. So if we're looking at an adult, we want slow, progressive, optimal movements based on the periodontal health. And I can tell you right now that basically having this 20 aligner do it all magically is impossible. So straight away in the first instance, I'm going to double the number of aligners. So I'm going to reduce the velocity per aligner and I'm going to ask for at least 40 aligners in this case for the upper and lower arch. So that's another tip. Uh, always in my first set, if Spark or Invisalign are going to show me 20 aligners, um, on many cases I will literally double them. I will slow the velocity to half. Slowing velocity has been shown in studies to increase predictability by almost 30% of your movement so um, the more complex the movement the more i will slow it okay so hope you learned another tip here thanks for watching bye